Hi, one of the features that everyone has asked, well, a lot of people have asked about is to issue tickets in a random order uh, from within the pool. And so I'm going to walk through what that looks like to set that up. Um, I've already made my category with random. I call it random. You can call it whatever you want. I'm going to set starting tickets to be 1,001, and I'm going to check if I want them to be assigned in random distribution. When you select this, you then have to go down to the limit number of tickets sold for the raffle. Now, for random, we only allow up to 8,000 tickets, so I'm going to do 2,500 for this raffle. And I'm going to go ahead and add uh, a prefix, and I'm going to say they're random. All right. And this will add it and then the numbers. And I'm going to go ahead and save it. And then we're going to have our product over here. And we're going to have that set. Uh, I've created one here for 25 tickets for random. I'm just going to show you the brief settings for this. So I have it set for 25 tickets. Uh, description of what it is. It's random. It's a raffle category. The price. We're going to set raffle to be 25. Uh, we made a little image uh, for 25 tickets. So I'm going to go ahead now. I'm going to view this product. And uh, there's 100 in stock because it's 25 and there's 2,500. So it picks up the category. If you set 50, uh, the stock will fluctuate depending on um, how many tickets you have and how many packages you have. So this will fluctuate depending on the products that are assigned to the category. Uh, these buttons are also customizable in the back end. So uh, we have enter now, but you could have add to cart is the default. Uh, you can show the number that have been sold. Uh, this is also editable in the back end under the display settings. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase some tickets here. And now we'll view the cart. Okay. Proceed to checkout. And we have Sam Malone from Cheers is going to purchase it. Um, I'm going to change that from one of our employees to be our WP raffle account. And we're going to place the order. And what it's going to do is go ahead and generate the tickets. And on the order details, you'll see that they are assigned in random order. Okay. Um, and there's 25 tickets. And that's how it works. Let me bring up the email here. And in this case, they're going to get an email. Um, and it will have the category name as well as the tickets that are randomly generated on their receipt. That's how the random distribution works. Uh, those tickets are now out of the pool, so they can't be reused. And the next person will get another set of random numbers. It's that simple. Thanks much. For more information, check out our website at wpraffle.com and reach out to us if you have any questions. Thanks and have a great day.